Hi, this is Ashok here. I am a trainer for CFA and you are watching Phoenix training YouTube channel where I make content pertaining to CFA and investment banking topics. Macaulay duration. Macaulay duration. It is the weighted average. So this is the weighted average number of years. Uh, it takes to uh, to pay the uh, to pay the cash flows of your bond in one go in one go so if in one go if you have to make the payment then how much time it takes so for example here if i say there is a bond three year bond so one two three year bond and uh, imagine coupon is four percentage and future value is thousand so coupon four percentage and future value is thousand so four percentage of this thousand is forty you are getting 40 first year second year and third year and at the end you are getting 1000 and iy interest per year is 5 percentage okay prevailing interest per year is 5 percentage ytm so if this is the case this is the cash flows now suppose if i say i don't want to receive this cash flows like this i want to receive all in one go then how much time it should take that's what weighted average number of years will tell me which is macaulay duration okay so let's take this example and uh, do this sum the formula for macaulay duration is macaulay duration is equal to uh, summation of present value of individual cash flows individual cash flows divided by present value of total cash flows into number of periods so how does this work so let's take this example only present value of individual cash flow so this is individual cash flow i'll take the present value so i discount it with the iy uh, that is five percentage so to the power one this gives me 38.10 the second cash flow i will discount it for two years this will give me 36 0.28 the third one uh, will give me so this is 1040 it will give me the present value is 898.39 okay so present value of individual cash flow so individual first one 38.10 divided by present value of total cash flow so total i need to add up all this so when i add up i will get 972.77 972.77 this is the total value present value of the of all the cash flows so 972.77 okay into number of periods so this is first period you are going to get so first period so i multiply by 1 so i will get 0.0392 then for the second cash flow it is 36.98 here 36.98 so so for the second one second cash flow is 36.28 so 36.28 divided by 972.77 into this is number of period second period so here 36.20 divided by 972.77 into 2 comes to 0 0.0744 0 0.0744 and for the third one it is 898.39 so 898.39 divided by 972.77 into this is for the third period so multiplied by 3 so it comes to 2.77 2.7706 so when i now i need to add up all this 
where it is the summation. So when I add up all this, it comes to uh, 2.884 and I will suffix this with years. So it will take 2.884 years if I have to receive all this in one go, all this cash in one go. So instead of uh, instead of receiving 40 here, 40 here and then 1040 here, if I say I want all this payment in one go, it will take over here 2.88 years 2.88 uh, years it will take 2.884 years so this this is telling me weighted average number of years it takes to pay the cash flows of a bond in one go so this is macaulay duration okay now there is another concept called modified duration modified duration okay now when i say macaulay duration you see it will take 2.884 years now this is macaulay duration before i explain modified duration let me tell you about duration first of all duration will tell you the sensitivity of the bond price based on change in change in the interest rate that means duration is the change in the bond price based on based on the change in the uh, interest rate in the interest rate by one percentage so by one percentage when interest rate changes how much bond price changes okay so now here in this case macaulay duration is 2.884 so what it means is overall okay overall because the macaulay duration is 2.884 years when interest rate changes when interest rate changes by 1 percentage the bonds price the bonds price will change by 2.884 percentage here that's what it means okay because it will affect the bond completely correct so when interest rate changes it is going to affect from 0 to 3 so the weighted average is 2.884 and so it will change by 2.884 percentage this is uh, duration now if i want to know modified duration now modified is as I said, it will affect by 2.884 percentage. So the present value, so modified duration is equal to Macaulay duration, Macaulay duration divided by 1 plus YTM because I am taking the present value. So 1 plus YTM, so that is equal to, so here 2.884. 884 divided by 1.05 okay 1.05 that is 1 plus 5 percentage okay 1 plus 5 percentage so when i calculate this will give me 2.747 okay so overall this will be the change present value so at this moment i can say if interest rate goes up by 1 percentage, the change in this bond will be 2.747 percentage. Okay, so this is modified duration. Thank you.